In this video, I am going to talk about the tool I refer to as the shape tool. The shape tool starts out being the rectangle tool. If you hang out over top of the tool, it tells you what you have there. If you right click it, it will allow you to change it to the round rectangle tool, the ellipse tool, polygon, star, or flare tool. We don't use the flare tool a lot in my projects. The other ones are all essential to know. The next thing that I like to do is hit this little arrow right here, which gives me a toolbar that I can move anywhere I want to do my work. Now that I have that toolbar out here, there's one other thing I'm going to talk about since it's the beginning of us using Illustrator, and that is some simple navigation pieces. If we take our scroll wheel on our mouse and we scroll it up and down, it pans up and down. If you hold the control key in, it pans left and right as you scroll your scroll wheel up and down. If you hold the Alt key, which is next to your space bar, you will be able to zoom in and zoom out. Wherever you have your cursor, when you zoom out or when you zoom back in, it zooms in on that spot. I always encourage to zoom in on the things you're working on. During my presentation here, I just kind of want to have my artboard, me in this white space, be the main piece of my video. Now, the next thing is, it starts out being the rectangle. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool. One way I can make a rectangle is by clicking and dragging. If I click and drag, when I release, it will create a shape. I've already changed my point of my stroke, uh, and our default colors are a white fill and a black stroke, which is the outline. The stroke starts out being a one-point stroke, but We'll get more into that in one of the next videos when we go and talk about changing colors or getting rid of outlines or the stroke from our shape. The other way to make a rectangle is by clicking. And then we can enter data. If we wanted to have a 5 centimeter, hit tab to move down by 2 centimeter rectangle, I can hit OK there, and I will have a rectangle that is that shape. Now, if I wanted to make a perfect square, I would hold the shift key in before I click and drag. And that makes a perfect square. You'll notice it's perfect by that little pink line going across as we're dragging it. The next shape that we have is our rounded rectangle. Clicking and drag makes a rectangle, but it just has little radiuses on the outside or fillets. Then we have the ellipse tool which starts by making ovals. If we hold the shift key in, it makes perfect circles. I'm going to scroll up a little bit to make some more room off my artboard. Next is a polygon, which starts out being a hex or a six-sided shape. But if we look over here, there's an extra little piece or a little slider, plus and minus, where I can make it have less sides by sliding to the right to make a triangle or more sides by sliding to the left to make an octagon. We can also create polygons by clicking, and then we have the option of number sides right there in the option menu before we hit OK. The star tool is very similar. Clicking and dragging makes a five-sided star. If we want to make different sided stars, we can click, and then we have the option of changing the points if we wanted to have a ten-sided star. We could do that, and it asks the radius is there too. We hit OK, and that talks about how the radius 1, I believe, is the outside radius, and radius 2, radius two is on the inside, how deep your actual points go. But that is the simple or quickened version of how to use the shape tool. Thank you.